Hey gamers, it's Winnermute here from Grind This Game. And I got some comments on the last video I did about uh, this natural gas, oil to natural gas converter boiler. So Adam and Conrad both uh, said, why not use the heat that you've basically collected on in all in this natural gas to boil polluted water? And that was a, kind of a great idea. So I, I've gone and hooked that up. I made a little bypass room here where the natural gas is kind of collecting uh, and then I'm dripping in polluted water. What flow rate do I have here? I'm sending 200 grams per second of polluted water and it's working pretty well. So I have a little chamber here and it hasn't been blocked up with sand yet and it's been running for quite some time so it seems to be working. This is um, This metal tile here is made out of tungsten. Actually it's made out of copper. It should be tungsten, but it doesn't really matter because it won't melt down until its melting point is 1083, so it'll be fine. And it has a decent thermal conductivity, so it's serving it's serving its purpose of transferring the heat from here, from the natural gas, into this little room. I could probably crank up this flow rate a little bit, but it's working at this rate, so I thought I'd leave it there. There is some dirt that piled up in there, but that's okay because it's not it's not blocking the system yet. To scale this up, I would probably increase the surface area and just make a really shallow but longer version of this. So this it, it boils the water, polluted water, turns to clean steam. The steam gets out of here and condenses into kind of cool water, fresh water, and then dribbles over the side here. And I've made liberal use of these thermo shift plates. They work really well. You can actually, I learned that you can post or like place many of them over top of each other. So let's, if I build one here, say I build one out of copper, you can just keep placing them over top. I'm not sure what the limit is, but I think maybe five because it shows five here. So you can build up a lot of mass with these things. And I just basically painted a bunch this way to grab some coolness from over here to dissipate the heat from this area. That also allows the uh, steam to condense back into water. You could also also use wheeze warts in here, do the same thing. So that's a, that's a good use of the heat that we've just uh, stolen essentially from the magma. Now uh, this thing's been running for quite a few cycles now. I also put some thermo shift plates in here, but you can ignore that. Um, they weren't necessary. The rock, or the uh, igneous rock, was doing enough to move the heat. And you could extend this metal down to transfer the heat. I was doing some <laughs> experiments with my little dupes here in the lava. Uh, they didn't. They didn't survive. Sorry, Meep, Trivaldo. It's amazing how long. Uh, let's put a dupe in here. It's quite amazing how long they all survive in the magma. And this is on fast speed. Sorry, Frankie. We'll put you out of your, your misery here. So this this uh this does seem viable kind of for the medium term, not for the super long term, because this rock will eventually the level eventually lose all its temperature. You can see it's kind of, kind of solidified into igneous rock here over the last 20 cycles or so. But as long as it's over um, 538 degrees. It's kind of enough to turn the oil into petroleum. So as long as it's over 538 degrees, it's enough to turn the petroleum into natural gas. And this rock so far is sticking around 600. One thing that did happen in this area was that this got a bit hot. I only had a little tiny area here before, and the pump was up in the top right, and it basically melted because it got too hot in here. So I extended the size of this room and put in some of this thermo shift plate and it's spreading that heat out really nicely. Kind of mixing into this uh, cold biome here, or ice biome. The other thing I tried to do is kind of rack my brain around how do we get uh, up to this temperature without using lava. And the only thing I could think of, and it didn't work very well, was to use an oil well. Now an oil well has a melting point 
if you make it out of tungsten, of 3400, and it, uh, it gives off heat. So assuming you could keep it running, okay, how is it running right here? What temperature is it at? It's at 80 degrees. Assuming you could keep it running indefinitely and you put it in a abyssalite room like this, it should get, you know, it should get to, you know, a thousand degrees, two thousand degrees. It just should continuously heat up. But the problem is, to keep this thing running, you need a dupe to go inside and, and relieve the pressure. So it, the idea didn't quite work that way. Rudy here tried to do it, and he died in the process. Now this is the only building I was able to find that doesn't melt down below 500 degrees. If you guys know another way to get up to, you know, five, six hundred degrees uh, without magma, let me know because that'll be uh, that would be super useful for this process. So that's all I really wanted to cover in this video. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.